going on YouTube? Jimmy World here. Hope everyone's having a great day. Weekend's almost over. I'm absolutely exhausted. I'm going to try to jump into this Battle Royale game. Let's try to get a W. We're on a little bit of a roll. I think our win streak now is up to one, so we can call that a streak. So let's try to get a W here. I ain't really have much to say. I got a lefty all about. Yep, Chris Sale. Here's what we got coming up against. We got Ichiro Suzuki, Buster Posey, Willie Mays, Anthony Rizzo, Jose Batista, Jose Reyes, Evan Longoria, Mookie Betts, Steven Strasburg. He put a lot of lefties at the top of the lineup for me having a lefty on the mound. But I guess. I wonder which Jose Reyes that is and which Longoria that is. Probably the flashback ones. Dynasty. For all you guys who are new to the channel, I just want to say thank you all very much for hitting that subscribe button. And we're going to ground out on the first pitch, but I appreciate all the support for all of you new guys. Thank you very much. You're helping the channel grow just by clicking subscribe, clicking view, and liking the videos. I really appreciate it. We're almost at 1,000 subscribers, and that's just absolutely awesome. First pitch is a low fastball down in the zone. That first pitch is going to be key all Right on the black, ball. actually. Good pitch. Kind of left that pitch a little bit over the plate, but I got under it. And pop it up to center field. And on three pitches, he's already got two outs. Can we get some started with... I don't know how I got under that. That ball should be crushed. Wow. And I got under a pitch down in the zone. Before it even before it even happens. I'd rather Ichiro beat me with a base hit than than me just give up a bunt because of negligence. But you never know. He'll probably pull it down right field, or excuse me, second base, and work his way on board that way. There we go. Easy play, first out. Well done. But a good change up, and that's lined into the gap. Let's keep him to two there. There it is. We got him. Reggie Jackson makes his play. Let's go. Here we go. We got Reggie Jackson up. Little late on that pitch, but no, it doesn't matter. That pitch is gone. Way to lead off the any Reggie Jackson. That is why I have Reggie Jackson out there over guys like Ichiro, over guys like, uh, what's the guy from the National, Bryce Harper, Matt Kemp, because Reggie Jackson just has more power, although you will take a hit on the field with Reggie Jackson. He will make errors. On two V. Can that split a gap? That's one of the strongest arms in the game, but we're testing it. Stand up double. Now we got Jimmy World back up at the plate. I have no idea how I hit that pitch. It's not even in the PCI. It's legitimately not even in the PCI. What the fuck? That was an accident. I'm going right back to that fastball. He's late on it. I'm hoping this changeup's in the dirt and doesn't hang over the plate. Good Bye, have a great time. Perfect pitch. That's like the first bad pitch he swung at all game. And it was after giving him two fastballs up in the zone. Had to change his eye level and throw it in the dirt. Very successful at bat. For me, of course. Very good slider. Bye, have a great time. Uh, huh. Yep, my bad. A one count to Reggie. That's in a gap. At the very least, that's a double. Well done. Great start to the inning. There it is. We ground out to short again. I don't know how he missed that pitch. That looked like a good pitch to hit. All right, I'm going to pull a string here just this once. Bruh. Why would you throw a pitcher a changeup when he can't hit your fastball? Like that doesn't even that doesn't even make any sense, Jimmy. Come on, man. Yes, I did just speak to myself in the third person. I'm very aware. Normally go back to the two seamer there, but just in case he's on it, we're gonna get this easy play. 
I waited on that one. Come on. This field is big, but come on. Come on. And then he goes to the fastball. Wow. I thought I got jammed. I thought I was pretty late on that fastball. Lefty on lefty would be a great end to a great start. For sale, but it's not going to be. It's going to be a double. Two out double for Anthony Rizzo. Who's on deck? Jose Batista. Righty switch righty. I think it's time to make a change. Raleigh Fingers coming in. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Wow. How is that a ball? One, how do you take that? Two. Got him in a 1-2 count after two good pitches. I'm not looking. Yes, let's go. That was probably the the clutches at bat we've had all game. That is a that is a hitter I am absolutely petrified of. Is Carlos Gonzalez in this game because he crushes anyone on the mound. I'm going to bring in Ichiro Suzuki for Raleigh Fingers. Uh, just because he's got a righty on the mound. I'm not bunting, so don't worry about that. And we're going to line the first pitch right over the first baseman's head. If he's playing back, maybe that's caught. So that's just a, that's just a trouble with uh, Ichiro on base. Or at the plate, now on base. Let's see how many times he's going to pick off. 2,000 years late. And we're going to line out yet again. How many times can you line out in one game? All right, Jimmy World up. We may steal as long as it's not a quick slide step. I expect it will be. Bad, bad pitch. Picked by the catcher. Thrown down a second bad throw. Still gets Ichiro Suzuki out. Fastball time. There it is. That's a go glover there. Well done. Good start to the inning. And now we got Rizzo versus a lefty. Bringing in Paul Goldschmidt for Anthony Rizzo. Just to see if he brings in a righty. I think I got a righty on deck. Jabba comes in in the ninth. I was expecting a flamer, and I got a slider. Very good call out of the bullpen. Good pitch, good strike. 0-1 count, one out. And there it is. We're going to get a base hit from Goldschmidt. I don't think it could be any more. Oh, we're going to get a favorable animation and a pop-up slide. I hate pop-up slide. Now we got Chipper getting walked. Mike Trout up. Do I have a lefty in the outfield? No, I don't. So I'm swinging away with Mike Trout here. He set up the double play possibility. First pitch on its way. Mike Trout. A very good changeup. Or just a very bad swing. Oh, one count to Trout. Back to back good changeups, and I'm way in front of those pitches. Not throwing strikes, I see, but that's my fault. Mike Trout, two-run triple. Well done. He's probably expecting first pitch fastball, so I'm coming change up. Very good call. We get a first pitch strike, but he's on it. It says good timing, so maybe I do go fastball. Hopefully, we don't hit him. Hopefully, we don't hang it. That's just filth. That is the definition of filth. Holy crap, that slider is absolute filth. There it is. There it is. 
I knew you couldn't. Once you realize you can't hit in this game, you're not good enough to hit, you start bunting because you can't hit. So people ask me, what is my gripe against people who bunt cheese and bunt? It's called cheese for a reason. Because it's an exploit in the game. Anthony Rizzo would never come up to the plate down by four runs and bunt down the third baseline. It's unrealistic. One, he would not do a good job getting it in play. And he doesn't have a better chance of getting on base that way than he does actually swinging. He is one of the premier hitters in the league, which is why they stack three hitters on the right side and he still hits through the shift. He is a great hitter. But then a guy with like 30 speed gets on with a bunt. Yes, there is a problem with this game. That the success rate of bunts has to be way lower. And, he pops it foul behind the plate. and we're going to get you out. This one away in foul out. So yes, I'm very, very much against bunchies in this game. Swing the bat. Here's another guy. Another guy. You have a great hitter at the plate. Maybe not the best hitter against left-handed pitching. But there it is. Back-to-back -back -back bunts. I didn't even want that pitch in the zone because I was kind of expecting it. And he's down to his final outs, and when he realized he can't hit, this is what he this is what he has to resort to. Pressing triangle. There is no skill in this game in bunting. And the game is over on a strikeout bunting. That's pathetic. Alright guys, it was a very good game to the end, and then in the last two at-bats, he realized he's, not a, he's a terrible hitter and can't hit very well, so he decides to start bunting. That's my issue with Bunchies. Learn, learn to hit. He had four hits scattered throughout. I only had eight, but I had four runs. And the thing is, when someone's dominating you on the mound, make an adjustment. Don't just come in. Like, like when you hit, you have to move this in the right spot and then press one of these three buttons and have the right timing. When you're bunting, you just have to press triangle. There is absolutely no skill in this game in bunting. You just have to press triangle. That's really all it is. And it's 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 a statistics game whether it's luck or it's not. So the thing with this opponent I was playing is, he wasn't a bad opponent. He pitched pretty well. He made a couple mistakes. But he wasn't adjusting to the fastball. I was legitimately blowing the fastball by him repeatedly. If he would have made an adjustment to the fastball, it probably would have been a much different game and I would have had to change the way I pitched to him. But uh, towards the end of the game, he decided, hey, it's pretty much over. Let me see if I can bunch cheese and get on base, which in a three-inning game is what a lot of people do in Battle Royale, and that's it's a huge problem. Uh, but that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. We got a win. We're on a nice little roll, finally. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, as always, make sure to drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And peace.